My name is Sarah Watkinson Yule and I'm 25 years old and my business is called Yule Shoes. So I started in my first year at university at the University of Westminster in London um, and I started just with nine designs, just wanted to, to set up my own website whilst I was at university just as like a test case um, and I started manufacturing in China but I really wanted to manufacture in the UK, that's what I always wanted to do and I just looked for a supplier, manufacturer and like no one could do it. The British Footwear Association said no, you never find anyone making, making shoes for ladies, like a high heel shoe because obviously we've got a big industry in the UK for men's shoes but making high heels you know everyone goes to Italy, Spain or Portugal and there's nothing in the UK and then um, in 2012 so that was my second year at university so I've been going for about six months at that time um, I found someone that was happy to to split the costs and, and to start doing it and um, I got a loan from the Prince's Trust um, and I started manufacturing shoes in England Both my parents are entrepreneurs, um, so that was a great help. So obviously, I've sort of been grown. I've yeah, I've sort of grew up in an entrepreneurial household, so it was always sort of what I wanted to do. And I was always very adamant, and that's what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to go into business. I like the 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 freedom of lifestyle that you can get from it. Um, I'm very bossy, and I hate being told what to do. So I'm not the best employee, I don't think. So I did a foundation in fashion at um, London College of Fashion before I went to uh, proper university and I studied um, business management but then I did a major in entrepreneurship. I didn't know about the Entrepreneur Society but I mean I worked jolly hard, I didn't have much time to do anything else. But um, I was very fortunate, so at the university, loads of my modules were all sort of based around the business. Um, so, I, you know, I was really able to combine the two and they really complemented each other really well. So from the age of about 16 to 18, sort of before I did my foundation, I, was, I really knew I wanted to go into fashion um, and I worked at the Pentland Group, which is a big footwear company in North London, um, and then I worked at Topshop in the shoe department and then I knew I wanted to go and study fashion and then when I was studying fashion I won a competition for Doc Martens um, and that was all shoes and I was working at Harrods and it was all around shoes and I did like all my fashion products all around shoes so therefore I was like oh well I'm gonna have to go into shoes because I don't know about anything else now <gasps> I can't pattern cut um, and uh, so then I knew I wanted to start my shoe company and then I went and worked for a year to save up lots of money and that's when I went to university and started the business In the early stages I saved up some money from working and that sort of paid for my initial stock and paid for the website um, and then obviously I was a bit screwed because I spent all the money <laughs> and you always need more money when you're starting a business um, so then I had a loan from the Prince's Trust and that went to the manufacturing in the UK and then I um, won a grant from the European Development Fund so that helped, that was only £500 but that helped tremendously in the early days um, um, and then where else have I had money from? Since then I've had another grant from the Manufacturing Advisory Services and then I've had other grants from the UKTI when I go and do a, a trade shows overseas. So in total I think funding I've had is probably about eight or nine thousand pounds. I think so and also I felt I was a better student because I was really engaged and I, I really needed help and I think a lot of people go to university and they they see it as like you know they have to pass through the goals and if they do it how they do it but whereas I was starting my own business I knew I didn't really know much so I was really sort of asking tutors like what about this what about that how do I do that and also I felt like it it really helped because 
I had like a foundation to like to base all the ideas you were learning at university from because and also having worked for a year I think that also really helps because it's all well and good learning the theory but I think that you can't really learn something until you've really been able to apply it and so I think that I also I learned so much more at university because I was able to apply it all and I sort of learned I learned by working rather than oh this is a theory and then you sort of forget it and then you're in a workplace and then you suddenly go oh my god what was it I tutor was talking about and you go back to your notes and you're like oh yes I can see how that would be applied but like I think I really was able to learn it because I was applying it all the time. So greatest challenges are obviously because I was starting a brand being completely unknown no one knowing who you are quite a few people probably thinking you're a bit mental but then that's most entrepreneurs um, yeah being being unknown um, not knowing what to do at all because I think had I worked in industry for a long time I sort of knew what I could do what I couldn't do whereas I just sort of jumped to every opportunity went and, went and did everything and um, yes I think I think sort of not knowing the correct way to do things is quite a big challenge and obviously being quite young is a challenge because people don't sort of like trust the business if it's just like it's you as you as an individual like a 21 year old it's not exactly going to buy from you So I'm doing it as cheaply as possible. Um, I have a company that works in PR for me. I do a lot um, on social media. Um, we haven't done any paid advertising um, at the moment. Uh, trade shows is a great, a great way. Um, and getting agents as well. So this is a pair of shoes called the Chelsea Flower Shoe. As you can see, it's got some flowers at the back. And yeah, this is handmade in London. I should have bought one that I wasn't like, completely scuffed. <laughs> but yeah, this is handmade in London. Um, the leather I get, um, I buy all in England from the wholesalers in the UK. Um, but the components I have to get from Spain. Uh, I try to get them made in England, but uh, the ones that are made in England were just not up to standard. Um, but we've got uh, stockists in Taiwan, Australia, America, um, right the way across Europe, uh, Austria, uh, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy and the UK. Well, we're making a profit, but obviously um, we want to put as much money back into the business as possible to help it grow in the early days. Well, I think that in about five years' time, they'll all be saying that they want to start their own business. They hate having to work for somebody. And um, yeah, they'll probably be like, oh, I, I wish I did it when I was young. Now, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> that's what that's what powers me to be an entrepreneur. Thinking how bad it would be having to to do to do something like to go and work for someone and to to abide by their rules. I'm. Uh, What's the word? I have good time management. That's that's it. Um, what else? I'm always like striving for more. I think that's very important. Like I never settle. I'm always thinking about the next thing. And everyone says, "Oh, you've done so well so far." And I'm like, "No, no, no. It's the next step now." Like I always, I always want to keep pushing and pushing. Well, I had a mentor through the Prince's Trust. Um, and so that was for three years. I had a meeting with her once a month and she was um, constantly help? with me. Oh, it helped so much in the early, like the first three years. Mm -hmm. And then um, I, still, I still get help from her from time to time. I think only about two weeks ago, I was on the phone to her being like, oh, I don't know what to do about this. Can you help me? Because I mean, that is the hardest thing. It's about, it's about not knowing, like to make a decision. Like at university was one module we did called making management decisions. And I, I always think that was such a good module because 
that is what business is all about. It's always about making decisions. Like you don't have all the knowledge, but you have to make the decision to the best of your knowledge. But um, yeah, so I, I still ha I still turn to her, and obviously my parents as well because they've been there and done that, got the t-shirt. Yeah, actively networking. Um, I think going to trade shows is quite good because obviously I know lots of people in the industry all in the same boat. Um, lots And there's a trade show called Best of Britannia, so everyone gets stuff made in the UK. Um, so that's quite a good network. And, you know, like the shoe industry in the UK is very small and it is pretty friendly, so everyone tends to know each other. And where, where do you hope to go in the future then, or where are you heading? Um, hopefully having my shoes stocked in shops across the globe would be great. What advice? I think you'll be in it for the long run. Don't go into business because you want to make lots of money like you, if you want to make lots of money go and work in the city I think if you're really if you're really passionate about what you do and you have the drive behind it that you enjoy it then I think you should do it No, I'm really look, um, hoping to go into other things. We started making a few a few clutch bags um, to complement the shoes made in England. Um, I've got a perfume designed in Paris already, so we're hoping to hoping to launch that soon as well, and small accessories as well.